ChatGPT has recently relaunched their Browse with Bing feature, which allows you to connect ChatGPT with the web. And I was very excited when this first came out because this allowed you to be able to use ChatGPT to write more up-to-date information. But that's until I started actually using Browse with Bing, and unfortunately, it's not that good. So let me explain what I mean. I've been playing around with the Bing integration with the ChatGPT, and I've asked it certain questions like, what is the latest AI news as of now? And as you can see here, we are able to get um, a little bit of a summary of the AI news, but it's not really giving me in-depth information. So it, it was able to give me some of the latest news from September 28, 2023. But again, I could have just went ahead and simply used the web pilot um, plugin that's available on ChatGPT, and that would also be able to give me a similar output. So for example, I've asked ChatGPT what are the latest AI news of September 2023, but this time I'm using the web pilot mode, which is enabled. And as you can see here, we get more information. We also get a summary of three different um, of the latest AI news in the market. So I don't really see the difference between the web pilot mode and the ChatGPT um, plugin, or sorry, the ChatGPT integration with Bing. As you can see here, we barely get some information. Yes, we can go to that source, but we can also do the same thing for WebPilot. So next, what I did was I told ChatGPT to extract the main information from this article. It's a TechCrunch article, and it was able to give me a summary, but it's very, very short. It's about three or four sentences for that article, because what I wanted to do was get a lot more information, and then I can take that information and rewrite it with ChatGPT to create my own unique article. But this is not enough information for me to write an article. And again, instead of using web browsing, I can simply just go ahead and run this input on um, ChatGPT with the web pilot plugin enabled. So here's the summary that I get back when using the web pilot mode. We get a summary of the article, we get the title, the author, and the main points of that article. And then if we scroll down, it also asks if we would like more details or insights on any specific sen section of this article. So as you can see here, we are able to get a lot more information from the web pilot mode compared to the web browsing mode. So it begs the question, why do you really need web browsing when you have the web pilot mode? So while web pilot is good, there's another tool that I use that I think is far more superior than web pilot and the web browsing mode from ChatGPT. And that tool is called perplexity.ai. If you haven't used this tool before, it is really, really good. You're able to get your search query answered much faster and you're able to do much more in-depth research when using Perplexity AI. Because what you can do is you can search up any query. So I'm gonna use the same query, which is what is the latest AI news of September, 2023. And instead of having to go through different websites and reading the different blog posts about what they're talking about, Perplexity will go ahead and combine all of that information into one place. So as of September 28th, there has been several AI related news and developments. Here are some of the latest AI news of September 2023, Facebook, Mid Journey, President Joe Biden, um, the UK government, XO and so on. So you can see here, you're able to get your information much quicker. But what's even more powerful is if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll be able to see a related tab. So what are the latest AI features introduced by Meta in September of 2023? This is directly talking about number, um, the first point here, which is about Facebook introducing new AI experiences and features that can enhance connections with others. Number two is what is the very region? And number three is what is the AI safety summit that was announced by the UK government in September of 2023? So again, what we can do is we can get more information quicker. So let's say we wanted to get more information about the AI safety summit. We can click on that. And as you can see here, um, the AI is going to start writing. It's going to give us more information. And I can either go ahead and use one of these related tabs, or I can ask my own unique prompt um, for this specific output. The great thing about these related questions is that it saves you the time. Instead of you having to actually go ahead and search that up, we can simply click on one of those related questions and we'll be able to get an answer on that question. So if you're doing research, um, if you're gathering information, Perplexity AI is much better than any other tool in the market. And primarily what I use it for is I use this to do research and more updated information. And then I take that information and I feed it into ChatGPT to write my own unique article. So what I'm doing now is just gathering more information. So what are the potential outcomes of the AI safety summit? So again, let the AI do its thing. What are the shared commitments and consensus? So again, I don't even have to ask a follow-up question. Um, because Perplexity AI is so good at understanding the context that it is asking some really, really good questions here.
If I wanted to ask my own unique question, again, I can search it up in the search bar. So what are some FAQs about the AI Safety Summit? And once I hit enter, as you can see, we will be able to get some FAQs about the AI Safety Summit. And lastly, let's get some information on how we can register for the AI Safety Summit. And again, we will be able to get those answers there. So as you can see, we were able to gather a lot of information here, but it's not very um, coherent and it's not formatted for a blog post. So what I'll do now is I would go ahead and copy all of this information. You don't really need to worry about um, the information being kind of out of place because the AI is really good at connecting the information that makes sense together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all of the information from here. And once you've copied all of the information from Perplexity AI, just paste that into the system, into the playground mode, or you can paste this into ChatGPT, whatever you prefer to use. And then what we're going to do is we're going to tell the AI to take that information and write its own unique article. Do not plagiarize, just take the information, write it into your own words, but write an engaging article. So first I've told it to take the information and create your own unique blog post outline. This just allows the AI to kind of be cohesive when it's writing to be organized in um, the article and which overall allows you to have a much better article. So the prompt that I used to write the full article was I told the AI to write the full article using the information from the system and any other information that you think would be relevant. Write in Markdown, remember to be unique, do not plagiarize, write in simple, easy to read human style, include lists, tables, charts, and bolded words. And this was the output in which we got back. As you can see, it's a pretty decent output. I think it's probably about a thousand words um, or less. It's not very, very long, but it's right to the point and it includes information about the AI Safety Summit. Now, if you wanted to, you can also go ahead and tell it to expand this article to include more relevant information. You can change your um, model over to GPT 3.5 Turbo 16K click submit and usually you're able to get a much longer article but because you've written it first using gpt4 the quality is still going to be good you're going to have your list you're going to have your bolded icons or your bolded words and you're going to have a well formatted article but it's going to be a lot longer so this is the expanded article and as you can see it's a lot longer it's about a thousand words again you can expand it further if you want more content but when you're writing on newer content you don't really need to have a very very long article because at the end of the day there's not a lot of information that's probably out there about that content so so let's go ahead and convert this into html so this is the article the ai safety summit of 2023 in a world increasingly reliant on ai the need for ensuring the safety and responsible use of powerful technology has never been greater why is the ai safety summit important key objectives and as you can see here there's about five key objectives potential outcomes of the ai safety summit Voluntary commitments from AI companies, FAQs, what is the AI Safety Summit, who will attend, what are potential outcomes, and a conclusion. So as you can see, a pretty decent article that we're able to get back here about a very up-to-date topic. And we didn't need to use the chat GPT web browsing feature with Bing. All we had to do was take some information from Perplexity AI, put that into ChatGPT, prompt it in the right way, and we're able to get a much better article. So that's my view on ChatGPT with Bing web browsing. I personally don't really see the use case of it because if you wanted to browse the web, you can just use the web pilot mode. And if you wanted to get more information a lot quicker, you can use Perplexity AI. So let me know in the comments below, maybe I've missed a use case of the ChatGPT web browsing feature, or let me know how you're using it right now in your content marketing business to help you improve any processes. As always, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.